Dallas Caesar just dropped his album Never Enough, and uh, I'm here to review it. I did do the Target exclusive vinyl unboxing video. Uh, if you guys haven't yet checked it out, link will be in the, in the description down below. I do have it. It's right behind me, uh, as you guys can see. Let's just get straight into it. Uh, this album is amazing. Dallas Caesar, he did it again. Three for three. The four-year wait was worth it. Like, the hype was worth it. I was super excited for him to drop this project. If you guys do follow me on Instagram, you guys could tell that I was excited for this project. I was excited. I was paying attention to his album rollout, and I will say this was his best album rollout for sure. Uh, I know it's too early to like rank the projects, uh, but if I had to, uh, this project would be in between Case Study 01 and Freudian. I think Case Study 01, I still think Case Study 01 is still better. For some reason, I, I think it's probably due to nostalgia and just because the songs on there, I feel like it's just one of his better, like it has his best songs on that project. You know, Case Study One was really a masterpiece. Um, but this project is, is, is up there for sure. Uh, the reason why I would put this over Frodian is because um, I feel like this project is just, has more songs that I could listen to in like different types of moods. Well, Frodian, I can only listen to the album in like one certain mood. You know, while this project has a lot of songs, I say this project is a mixture of Key Studio One with it being ex experimental and it being like a certain like mood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it does have a mixture of both which is why this album works, you know what I'm saying? This has to be one of the better R&B albums that have dropped in the past, like, year or two, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for example, Black, he dropped his album, like, two weeks ago or last week, I, I forget. Um, and that one is his third album, and this one is Down Caesar's third project as well. So we could compare these two. And I could easily say Down Caesar probably did a better job than Black did. You know, Black, he tried to do something different, and it still worked. But I feel like this one works better. It works better because it's something that we all wanted, but it's also something that Down Caesar tried to do something different. You know, something that he doesn't that he hasn't done before, like the song "Unstoppable." That's something that he hasn't really done before, and you know, he always has those bangers on here that like kind of takes you back to Freudian. Uh, Pain is Inevitable is one of those songs that I think could fit into that Freudian album. While the first song on here, Ocho Rios, that one could easily fit in Case Study on One as well. Yeah, so the whole album is easy to listen to. I think it's uh, near an hour. I think it's like 56 minutes, I, I believe. That isn't an issue just because it's easy to listen to. Um, uh, the features on here were all right you know what i'm saying there wasn't anything groundbreaking you know i will say mustafa probably had the better feature on here i was a bit disappointed with omar's uh feature i was expecting something like invincible um but you know it was a bit disappointing uh ty dollar sign on the other hand that one was a bit surprising i wasn't expecting him to be featured on this album but he was and he did a good job with his feature as well uh, the best songs on here, uh, my my personal favorite is probably Always. I feel like that one is just a banger, and it's a song that it really puts you in your feels. Uh, but I also like Let Go, uh, Show My Baby, Ocho Rios, Cool, and then I guess the rest of the whole album, Unstoppable, is another uh, one of my favorites as well. Um, yeah, uh, But yeah, is the album worth it? on vinyl and the answer to that is yes is it worth it on cd yes i bought the cd it should be coming in soon so yeah it's worth it on both uh editions if it does come out on cassette it's definitely worth it to buy on cassette as well and so with that being said i would give this album a 8.5 out of 10 uh this could easily go up to a 9 this is by far the best project that has dropped this year so far um down Caesar, i think he was in my top three most anticipated uh albums to drop uh this year and he delivered he definitely delivered he met my expectations and this album has been on repeat since the day it dropped
So uh, if you guys haven't yet checked out the project, I highly recommend it. Daniel Caesar did his thing, and uh, Never Enough is the best album of the year so far. But I am expecting other some other artists to drop that could be up there with Daniel Caesar. But Carr, he is going to be dropping this year, and he was in my top two of last year. Um, and then St. John, if he drops, he's definitely going to be a uh, contender for sure. If Frank Ocean drops, I just know that Alan is going to be up there. Up there. He's going to be competing with this project. But yeah, before I end this video, I would like to say uh, sorry for not um, doing reviews as much uh, as I did last year. I will be doing uh, the Since I Have a Lover um, album review by Black. I still have to do that. And then um, once only other artists that I've been anticipating on uh, drop the album. I will be doing a review for those. So stay tuned for that. For that and until next time.